So today, December the 16th, we already published an episode about a proactive WAF React vulnerability protection. What does that mean? Also firewall for AI, how important it is, what's coming. Uh, in that episode, we also have a multiplayer chess demo in ChatGPT, re really cool. But this clip, this short clip, is all about why Replicate joined Clother. Replicate is a very cool company, has thousands of models, AI models for you to use. So this is a conversation with Craig Dennis, our senior developer educator, about why Replicate joined Cloudflare, what can be achieved with that, what's coming. So stay tuned for this conversation. A small note, you'll also find a, a link here in this episode with credits for you to use the Replicate without spending money. So stay tuned for that as well. Without further ado, here's my conversation with Craig Dennis. Hello, Craig. Welcome to this week in Ed again. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, awesome to be back. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. It's already evening in Lisbon, so a little bit earlier in San Francisco, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in Portland, Portland, Oregon. But That's same right. time zone. Same time zone. We want you here to explain uh, how relevant it is for Calfer to acquire Replicate. What does that mean for developers? Oh my gosh, Joe, we just had our. Um... I have some new people on my team from, from the Replicate merger that, that happened. And we, uh, they're so awesome. And I have always used Replicate. Like, I, had you used Replicate before the, the purchase? No, really. when, whenever new models come out, they're like so rapidly there and available in a test. And you can like, there's a nice form and you can just kind of put it and see what the inputs are. So you can see like, I have this idea, is this going to work? And like, I, this is going to sound like I'm making this up, but there's 50,000 models there, 50,000 AI models, right? So you, and that's, you know, like, just think about like, you, you could take some input and do something with it and then get some output. And that is at 50,000 different opportunities of that. It's, it's wild that that, that, that exists. We were just, we were, we just had this, they were given a really awesome dem demo, uh, getting our team up to speed with, with uh, what we could build with it, which is literally anything, but uh, showing us as, as we went and one of them, there was a, give us an audio file, right? So, so you feed it an audio file mm -hmm. and it generates how to play it on the piano. It generates a video of, you know, like uh, that old video game where the notes would drop and you'd have to press it at the right time. It generates a video of that from the audio file. So like input an audio file, export music coding, just incredible. It, it, the, what, what you can build and what you can experiment mm. with. And like in the, the past, so the way that this works, like their uh, Replicate was really, really good at image models, right? So if I'm going to go and I'm going to generate an image, high quality image, the latest thing, like uh, last week, ByteDance released uh, Sea Dream 4.5. It's mm -hmm. awesome. I've been playing with it. I've been playing with it on Replicate because it's there. Uh, and, and then the week before that, Nano Banana Pro came out and I was able to play with both of those and use them in uh, Cloudflare apps. Um, Oftentimes with that, you don't want to, they don't want to store it forever, right? Replicate in the past, put it up and it, it goes away because oftentimes in these apps where you're generating stuff really quickly, you're going to get it away or you're going to save it someplace. And so obviously we have a great object storage, but they they cache it for about, about an hour. So it will go away if you don't capture it. Mm. And so we have all this developing, uh, all these developer tools that will help you go and build whatever app that you want, whatever sort of interface and whatever sort of uh, data storage that you need to do. And I have been having so much fun, man. We did it. I, 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 I built this app and I'll share it here. I'll, I'll share it in a, a bit. It's called Slideroki, right? So we were mm. trying to introduce our teams uh, to how, how we do things. And you, you put in, we said you get seven minutes. Just imagine this. You get seven minutes to go look at any one of the Cloudflare tools. And I want you to write down six or seven points. Six, seven. I did the, I did the thing that all the kids are doing. Uh, uh, we want to get you those points that you would want somebody to know. But just go rough with it. And, and then I had it generate slides. So mm -hmm. not only does it have... So I, I used all replicate models for this. So I used the latest Gemini Pro was out there. So, so doing the LLM stuff for that. It created all the slides and I had it come kind of based on the title. I had you do a kind of clever title and then it generated all the slides and they're incredible. The detail of what the, these were doing. And like I, I said, try to make it weird because we wanted to have like the live experience because you didn't know. It was like slider Roki. Yeah. So you, did, you didn't know what the slide was going to come up with. Absolutely gorgeous out of this world. Like some of them, one of the things that I was trying to show that um, how durable objects, a lot of tools are built on top of durable objects. 
the agents framework sits on mm -hmm. top of durable objects and it came up with the concept of its turtles all the way down and mm -hmm. it was a photorealistic turtle that was pointing at uh, the different things on all these different slides. And it also came up with a really clever, clever name across it. And of course, you know, it all worked. I was running it inside of an agent and it all worked and the sliding thing back and forth. And we're just in a time where like you can, you can build apps now, right? You can have an idea for an app and literally build it. Like it's, it's more than like, I'm going to write this down on a napkin. It's fast, like, right? It's fast, really fast. So fast. Yeah. And the, the, the coding world that we're living in now where you can do that sort of stuff. Right. So, Super, super fun. Um, I am so excited to see what people build with, with this, with the opportunity of having all of those models in front of you. It's like, it's, it's really awesome. And it's also part of the ecosystem, right? Now we have a bigger ecosystem because of this. More yeah. models available. Yeah. And the integration will be better because they will be part of, Call, of Callflare. So integration there will be better. So our ecosystem for people to build, for developers to build things quickly and really good will be improved with this, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that, you know, there's a, there's a gigantic community of, of Replicate users too, right? And a lot of them have it, didn't know that they could build, uh, build on our, our tools as well. So I think that there's also this really nice merging. We had a happy hour uh, just... Uh, I was going to say last week, but it was just a couple of days ago. Uh, we had we had a bunch of people together, and it was the Replicate community meeting the Cloudflare community, and just just hearing about what people were building together. The, the energy in the room was awesome. It was so cool to see what what people are 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 thinking about, or where they were struggling before, and how we can kind of help and 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 do that together. And I'm I'm so excited. I'm I'm so excited. We have such creative builders on the, the platform, and there's so so many creative builders building models. Now the other thing that you can do is they do a really good job of. I can, let's say that I wanted to train a model on, let's say I, I've got a, I've got a lizard. My, my girls have a, have a bearded dragon. And if I wanted to put that lizard in different places, I could train a model. I can, there's a, there's this thing called Laura's and it's a really easy way to go. I could go build it and I could put that him in any scene. After I give it like 10, 10 to 15 pictures, I could put that lizard anywhere I wanted him, surfing mm -hmm. him, doing what, whatever you can imagine, but like specifically him. Oh, so it's a really nice like opportunity um, uh, to explore in that space too, because there's a lot of things that, um, uh, there's a lot of apps that are on the cusp of almost being possible, mm -hmm. but with this power, I think that we're, we're really, I'm, I'm really excited to see what, where people take this. For sure. And we'll have more about this in the future with the integration coming into place and things like that. But, uh, what should people, where should people start if they want to start something right now? We have yeah, something to yeah, absolutely. Uh, head to the replicate. Uh, dot com. But head to replicate dot com. Fo fo first of all, follow us, Cloudflare Devs, on Twitter. We're we're doing you know cross cross tweeting now, and also follow Replicate on Twitter. It's it's at Replicate. And then I want you to uh, go to replicate dot com. There's an Explore tab. Uh, they've done an excellent job of maintaining like what can you do with this, and and it is overwhelming. But just take a breath. Take a breath and go through there and look and think about. You are going. To, I guarantee you, within three to four minutes, there'll be. Oh, I was, always wanted to build something like that, and you can. It's there. Zhao, maybe we could. Um, the viewers, we could get some free credits as well. I know some people. We'll attach some credits here for people that are watching this that want to go explore. There's a little a little way to do it where you don't need to go go reach into your own pocket. So we'd love we'd love to share uh, some credits out with you. That's great. That's really great. Actually, one of the things that uh, I. Oh, I'm surprised in the, in this time and age is, as you said, the things that you can build quickly. The other day I was doing a presentation, usually with slides, and I just did a website, like a very cool website yeah. for the presentation. Uh, and it was so easy, so quick. Uh, and it was, uh, you, you can definitely see, and you can use images, of course, you can put like content in a very cool way and does charts really well with just some data points. You can do so many things so quickly that is mind blowing. It is quite something. The age, the age of personal applications is here. I, I think that like we need we need a little bit better of an interface uh, in front of it to to allow literally everybody to do it. But right now, I just feel like we're at this place where it's like if you lean in a little bit, you can build whatever it is that you're trying to do. And I, I love I love that. I love where we're at. Perfect. Yeah. Actually, on this episode, we'll also have a chess multiplayer tool inside ChatGPT. A demo oh, on nice. that from Steve. Nice. It's quite nice, actually. That's the chat GPT and the chat GPT app, right? Because they're yep. starting to push apps Inside, out there. Yeah. yeah, that's coming. That's so cool. And, and all, all fully hosted and pushed through us, right? Through Cloudflare? Yep. Agents yeah. SDK. Awesome. So cool. Thank you, Craig. And let's speak more when we have more also to share. Absolutely. Looking forward to it, Joe. Thanks for having me on the show. That's a wrap. <laughs>